In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power to comprehend the power of the mind. If any one of us could unlock this terrible power, would we use it to explore the mysteries of the infinite, or would we use it to destroy? Yes! Yes! Tremble, Earthlings! Tremble before the might of General Skunkape! <laughs> you know, Sam, Skunk Ape may be a tool, but he brings a refreshingly childlike glee to his work. <laughs> yeah, Max, it's hard to stay mad at the guy. Witness Sam and Max, with my unstoppable dreadnought, my Shivan Queen at my side, and the power trapped in the Fuzzy One's brain. I will destroy your pitiful planet, and then dominate the entire galaxy. Totally ruin the moment. Uh, wait, which one of us is the Fuzzy One? It's a familiar tale. A power-mad space gorilla pitted against a canine detective and a sociopathic bunny with psychic powers. But, my friends, this story is different. In this story, you are in control. Only you can release our heroes from General Skunkape's bizarre space zoo. Only you can guide them in their quest to bring the villain to space justice. Are you ready? Let's begin by finding the proper tool. If I could just reach my gun, we could administer an old-school freelance police-style beatdown to that guy. I can't wait to get my stinking paws on that damn dirty ape! Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. You are now inside the dankest recesses of Max's mind, where you can attempt to control his horrible psychic abilities, unlocked by the toys of power. Well done, my friend. Now select a phone number that Max has memorized to teleport himself and his furry longtime companion to that location. And also Sam. Hooray! It's the Freelance Police! Oh, baby, I've missed you. <laughs> now what? Listen to the brain! Hey, Sam, it's our new pal, the disembodied alien brain. The same. I am speaking to you telepathically. No one else can hear me, Sam and Max. I can. Shut up. Your Earth weapons will never be enough to defeat General Skunkape. Don't you still have that homing beacon? Perfect! 
Now, you must place the homing beacon on General Skunkape's back to trap him in the penal zone. What's that? Did you really believe it would be that easy? Kinda, yeah. We're gonna need some kind of cover to get up close and personal with Skunk Ape. Max, remember that you have been blessed with the gift. You must unlock your abilities with the remaining toys of power. Behold! Uh, hang on. Uh, <coughs> there we go. It's a lump of rhinoplasty, the wacky modeling clay that promises hours of fun. And delivers about five to ten minutes worth. Max, the rhinoplasty will grant you the incredible power of shape-shifting. You can use the rhinoplasty to pick up a picture of any inanimate object. Then, use the power of your mind to transform into that object. It's fun! Try to look leafy and inconspicuous, Max. I always do. Well done, Freelance Police. Now, you must get that homing beacon onto General Skunkape before he reaches the Bronx, or all will be lost. I love what you've done with the place, my queen. Now what? Now we just use the remote control Mama Bosco gave us, and Skunk Ape gets sucked right in the penal zone, so to speak. Done, Sam and Max, but I'm far too strong to be captured again. Soon this gateway will close, and there will be nothing to stop me. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. With all the flashing lights and panels up here, there must be something that can help. How are we supposed to get up there? The door's locked. Hmm, I can't open the doors now, but I have an idea. Before he was imprisoned, your friend, the Mole Man, was screaming something about taking over the ship. Find out what he knows. Hey Harry, do you know how we can beat Skunk Ape? Poor Harry. General Skunk Ape put him in this penny-conscious terrarium to make an example out of him. Even if he could hear you through the glass, Sam, the sun lamp has made him even more worthless than usual. Max, you'll have to use another one of the toys of power.
It's an ordinary deck of playing cards. Or is it? Max, the playing cards have granted you the power to thrust your consciousness into the fleshy minds of others and pluck out their most intimate thoughts. Ew. Only you can take something as beautiful and natural as telepathy and make it sound wrong. This remote control can... Hey, Harry! Dude... Skunk Ape's got him under a super-powered sun lamp. You think that's horrible? Just be glad you're not the one who has to clean that terrarium. sure you wait three days to call, or he'll think you're desperate. Excellent, Max. That phone number might be enough, because General Skunkape locked the Mole Man's cell phone and other belongings inside this container. Mustn't find out. I wonder if they suspect anything. What is he doing? Is he reading my mind right now? La 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 la. Let's all go for a ride in my magical balloon. Don't let them break you, Harry. Your name is Harry Moon. close or else I may get sucked in too. We can't jump out. We're in midair. be something here that'll help us knock Skunky back into the penal zone. Hey, Brain! Aren't you hooked into all the controls of this spaceship or something? Can you give us a hand with this thing? Just be a little more sensitive. He doesn't have hands. So what's he gonna do? Punch me? No hands! What are we supposed to be doing, Brain? 
I've already told you. You've got to find some way to knock General Skunikape into the penal zone. You'll have to excuse Sam. He's new at this. Looks like Skunk Ape is about 300,000 miles overdue for an oil and filter change. Friends, you have just participated in a troubling vision of the future, the first of many such disturbing revelations. Over the next five chapters, you will witness things that baffle you, horrify you, even disgust you. But you must not look away. Pay close attention to everything that you see and hear. Because when our story reaches its bowel-tingling climax, only you, my friends, will possess the ability to save the entire universe. The toy I found just gave me an uncanny vision of our violent future. I know, I saw it too, somehow. Did your version have credits? 
It had a spaceship, a friendly alien brain in a jar, and an evil space gorilla trying to destroy the city. What could it all mean? Creatures of Earth, I am General Skunkape. Hear my words. I have come to you with a message of peace and love. Eh, uh, sorry about that building. What it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. My friends, you seem a bit confused. But there's no cause for alarm. We've merely let the story get ahead of itself. Let's take a brief journey back to properly set the scene. Our story begins 25 minutes ago, on a street very much like this one. Got a phone call. This is Sam and Max, Freelance Police, Mobile Division. Hello, Commissioner. No, we're not in the office. We're locked out of our building. It wasn't my fault this time. Gaping, treacherous crack in the street and those pansies from City Hall shut down the whole block! What's that, Commissioner? A sudden wave of lawfulness and goodwill spreading through the city? Yeah. No, we didn't have anything to do with that. There aren't any crimes for us to solve? Okay, then. We'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. The brain is dying. I'll have to call you back, Commissioner. Max has psychic powers now, apparently. That should bring us all up to speed. Now, where were we? Something about a spaceship. Hmm, what could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. Sheesh, the mole people are taking their own sweet time getting our subway station back into shape. Well, to be fair, they've been subcontracting to the Mutant Alligators Union. Those guys are notorious loafers. The mole people still haven't cleared away all those old mime sweeper cartridges. Clear them away? They're vintage collector's items! Mark my words, Sam. One day those games are going to be worth pennies! As much as I'd love to get over there, I'm not quite willing to swim through the muck. Come on, I dare ya!
Foursquare and Seven Brides ago. It's a sculpture of Abe Lincoln's head. Sheesh, what will it take to get rid of that guy? He's not a real guy, Max. I can't be positive, but it seems to be made out of pudding? Is it the annual citywide pudding festival already? I feel unprepared. One of Bosco's discarded Giga Guzzler soda cups. The only drink affected by the position of the moon. This broken gumball machine always makes me wistfully nostalgic for earlier times. Like that time we smashed this gumball machine. That was great. It's some kind of mysterious tunnel. I love those! It's too bad we can't reach it from here. Well, now I just want to know how we get over there. Me too. Knowing us, it's probably something clever, but overly complicated. Oh, that's unpleasant. Hello, sir. Mr. President. President, you are the ruler of this planet? Oh, no. I'm just President of the United States. We're only one of many United Nations working You're together to here, achieve... Sir. You can speak freely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in charge, pretty much. Perfect. Just the one I wanted to see. <laughs> Keep the hands where we can see him, pal. But of course. I have come to your pitiful, beautiful world for a peaceful exchange of technology. All oh, the wonders of the galaxy, yours. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch. <laughs> All I ask in return is your help while my research assistants search for an artifact of interest to my people. What's this about an artifact? It is the eyes of Yogg-Sogoth, one of hundreds of magical toys scattered throughout the...